Okay, I'm all set. Let's get this thing balanced and then we can start to shoot. What the heck? I don't have any more. What am I going to do? Welcome to AstroVenture, the DSLR astrophotography channel. Hey there AstroVentures, welcome back. If you're new to this astrophotography channel, my name is George and this is the astrophotography channel for DSLR and mirrorless camera bodies combined with the lenses we already own and a simple star tracker like the Sky Guider Pro or the Star Adventurer. Now, one of the challenges uh, that we run into is having to balance our setup. However, there is a specific weight limit not to exceed 11 pounds and functionally, you really don't want to go past eight or nine pounds. And, and as you saw, in trying to balance this, it just doesn't work. And this is using a, a standard uh, crop bodied camera with a Tamron 150 to 600 millimeter lens, which is quite popular. And as you can see, I just don't have enough weight. One of the solutions is that people add more weight. And I'm gonna tell you, that's not the way to go. So let's see what we can do. One option is to get yourself an extension to go onto the factory supplied weight bar. This one here cost me about 20 bucks. It comes from William Optics. Um, it, it absolutely takes care of the solution and by extending the weight out further, it will balance this out. The, uh, the challenge that you have in doing this though is that you're making your overall setup bigger. So let's take a look, what else might we do? In this particular option, uh, which is actually my favorite, and I think it's the best idea, is on your bracket, and originally I had the uh, factory weights coming off and I had the camera mounted up top. This little cup is actually removable. There's four Allen wrenches. You can unscrew this, and then this cup can actually be moved to this side. Now, by remounting it to the top and then attaching it, you'll notice that we are now extending out how far out the weight bar is actually extending from the mount. And although we're only talking about a change of about an inch, inch and a half, that's enough to create enough leverage that now your system will balance. So here we go. We just moved the cup to the top position and let's put this all back together now. Now I do want to point out, now that we flip this around, this little screw at times will interfere with you uh, rotating your camera lens around and it's not a big deal it just means that you have to dismount from the cup move past the screw and then reattach okay but anyway there we go we've put that back on let's go ahead and put the weight bar back on okay snug that down Bring the camera back in, put it on here. Okay, loosen the clutch. Okay, here we go. Now you'll see we can actually get our weight out far enough now that we are on the weight side heavier than the camera side. But this corrects the problem of trying to balance your system and it avoids, as I've seen some people do, They'll, they'll purchase another weight and add it on. And remember, you really don't want to go over eight, nine pounds. 11 is the max. And the less weight you can have in the overall setup, the less strain you have on your equipment. So there you have it, a simple moving of the cup from one end to the other. 
and getting gaining that additional inch or two of leverage on the weighted end will correct your balance issue. So I hope this uh, you know helps some of you out. If it does, consider liking, subscribing, and sharing this video and ringing the bell so that you're notified of each episode. We uh, bring those out every Friday. And then we also have a Facebook group, Astro Venture DSLR. Love to see you there to continue the conversation over there. Until next time, I wish you clear skies and uneventful nights.